Hello students, I am Dr. Tanma Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ about biomolecule in front of you. I request you student please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words explaining your answer. And remember self-evaluation is essential for improvement and for the purpose you should try. Now I believe you have tried by yourself so it's my turn to give you the right answer. By the way, before going to details, let me tell you the name of this molecule. It's very familiar. I mean, majority of you have consumed this molecule. Its name is vitamin C or ascorbic acid. Okay. So these molecules, ascorbic acids, chemical reactivity, we'll see. Now from this name ascorbic acid, you can understand that this molecule is actually acidic in nature. And this acidity is mainly because of hydroxyl group. Now question, which hydroxyl group? There are two hydroxyl groups. I shall give you the answer after some time and by the way this is not exactly vitamin C this is actually you can consider acetal protected vitamin C so these two hydroxyl groups should be free in case of the actual vitamin C molecule since we are doing reaction so this part is protected now in this case DMSO and THF is the solvent and potassium carbonate is the base and reagent and Rx is the electrophilic reagent you can consider so let's learn what's happening here so this this is actually potassium carbonate means it is actually a basic medium so we know that acetals are stable in base i have already discussed a dedicated lecture on this topic please visit for better understanding so they will not this acetal part will not will react or participate in this reaction so it will remain unaffected now question there are two hydroxyl group as i told this one and this one so question is which one will react now apparently both looks like similar because both are you can consider in and all by the way, I have already discussed many lectures on enol enolate and silyl enol ethers for such kind of molecules you can see now so this is actually enol now these OH groups are acidic because they are polar attached to electronegative oxygen not only that these hydroxyl group I repeat this part is slightly more acidic why because if you consider this is actually acid and if I say vinylogous acid this is vinylogous acid and by the way I have already discussed the principle of vinylogy so you may visit for better understanding about this concept now so this part is called vinylogous acid because of this vinyl group okay and because of this vinyl group what happens the property of a molecule is carried forward what do I mean that this is actually acetic acid so we know this is acid, uh, as, as acidic in nature, we can hear about 4.74 and this is actually vinylogous acetic acid, you may consider like that. So it is also acidic? Yes, obviously yes and if you look at this vitamin C molecule, this is also a vinylogous acid because this part, just focus. So if it is vinylogous acid, then its acidity is more. By the way, if you consider the other one, I mean this part this is alpha hydroxy ketone derivative it's not that much acidic like vinylogous acid because after deprotonation this vinylogous acid has a canonical form what do i mean means conjugate base so this is double bond this is o minus and this o minus is stabilized how double bond comes here so it will come here and it will go so because of this resonance it is stabilized so from this thing we can understand that this proton is more acidic so in presence of milder base like K2CO3, it will get deprotonated preferentially. And not only that, the medium, if you see, that is DMSO and THF. Both are capable because if you look at the structure of DMSO, the actual structure is like that, okay, dimethyl sulfoxide. So this O minus or if you look at THF, this is THF, in both case oxygen are there oxygen atom so one oxygen and one oxygen and these makes such molecules are capable to stabilize the cations like k plus so consequently k plus is stable so base reactivity is more or carbonates basicity enhances consequently this will abstract these vinylogous proton or vinylogous carboxylic acid will be deprotonated to produce this anion okay and in this case we know this anion can act as a nucleophile and what it does it attacks this rx from the back side and it opens this is a sn2 type reaction i've already discussed many lectures on this sn2 so this is nothing but you can consider ether for me means ester formation 
और इफ यू सी फ्रॉम कार्बोक्स विनाइलुकस कार्बोक्स लिख फ्रॉम एसिड पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू यू कैन से इट्स एन एस्टर फॉर्मेशन और इफ यू कंसीडर दिस इज फ्रॉम अ सिंपल कार्बन ऑक्सीजन मिस एल्कोक्साइड पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू दिस इज विलियम्स एंड इथर सिंथेसिस टाइप रिएक्शन सो आफ्टर दैट व्हाट विल प्रोड्यूस इट विल प्रोड्यूस दिस ओ आर सो दिस इज द आंसर नाउ I have explained why that particular hydroxyl group will be deprotonated because it is vinylogas acid, so it is more acidic compared to this alpha hydroxy ketone derivative. Second, why the acetal did not hydrolyzed because medium is basic, so acetal didn't get hydrolyzed. Now, so what is the answer of today's discussion? First of all, these will remain unaffected, so option C and D gone. Okay, and this part will be hydrolyzed. So. option b is the right answer so if this question is asked in your exam same logic you can apply that basic medium so this will unaffected so option c and d gone what is left option a and b and now ascorbic acid you have to remember that it's a vinylogas acid and for that purpose you need to know you need to know the concept of principle of vinylogy then only you can come to this uh, answer means option b real clearly because this is acidic so it will be deprotonated first and if this is deprotonated then alkylation will happened on the oxygen minus because alkoxide is a better nucleophile compared to simple alcohol or oh or carboxylate you can say consider is more nucleophilic compared to simple oh so this is the overall discussion so in conclusion what you have learned today that ascorbic acid is a vinylogas acid and pk is 4.2 it is significantly acidic and if you look at the acidity of this acetic acid this pk is 4.74 so from this data you can consider that ascorbic acid or vitamin c is more acidic actually here the first deprotonation we are talking so it's more acidic than acetic acid so it's strong it's significantly st uh, strong acid now acetals are stable in alkali or base but they are unstable in acidic medium potassium salts have relatively higher solubility than sodium salt because if you check the size comparison k plus is higher or bigger in size so charge density of k plus is less charge density of na plus is more so that's why this get more solvated in the organic medium and in this case in the reaction medium there is dmso dimethyl sulfoxide it is actually student very polar reagent very polar solvent high boiling solvent so it is capable to solvent those inorganic salts and if such kind of salts are absent then you need a specific concept that is ptc or phase transfer catalyst i have already discussed this thing also now generally the tendency of leaving character for sn2 reaction is iodide is a better leaving group than bromide than chloride than fluoride okay and dmso can solvent k plus by its oxygen atom i have explained So I believe this video will be useful. Thanks for watching. If you really enjoy, please help this channel to grow, and if possible, please visit my another channel where I upload global warming and climate change related videos. So stay happy, stay blessed. See you in my next video.